Chinese scientists have created a super fast analog chip that can solve complex math problems for advanced scientific tasks and artificial intelligence. According to researchers from Peking University, the device could work 1,000 times faster than top digital processors like NVIDIA's graphics processing unit. Here to tell us more is Post China reporter Victoria Bella. Hi, Victoria. So, what do we know about this super fast analog chip? Yeah, so the team's scalable analog device, uh, which relies on memory chips uh, made out of resistive materials, uh, was designed to solve specifically matrix inversions, which are a complex type of mathematical equation or problem uh, that are widely used in different kinds of fields, such as scientific computing, um, processing wireless communication signals and other signals, and as well as training artificial intelligence uh, models like neural networks. Um, so they are widely used in a lot of different fields. Um, and and when the team applied their device to solving some matrix inversion problems, as well as processing some wireless communication signals, uh, they found that it actually worked better uh, than some top tier digital processors that are currently uh, sort of top of the line and the best. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty big breakthrough. Hmm. So what, can you tell us what exactly is analog computing? Yeah, so well, first, digital computing, uh, which is the dominant form of technology that we use for most general tasks today, uh, relies on uh, binary digits, on zeros and ones, to uh, process uh, and uh, information. Uh, re well, analog computing is a little bit different. It actually uh, relies on some continuous or varying physical phenomenon, things like voltage, mechanical motion, uh, things like that, um, to process information directly. Uh, you can kind of think of it like digital computing being like a standard light switch that has two modes, an on and off, uh, while an analog computing is sort of like a dimmer dial where there's lots of different modes that you can have a bit more dynamic. Um, and so that gives it a bit more uh, flexibility and it can also be used to directly solve some of these issues. So um, in basic forms, analog computing has existed for a very long time. In fact, it dates back to the ancient Greeks, um, but it has faced a lot of uh, technical challenges such as scalability and precision that have really limited its applications. So uh, digital computing became uh, dominant for a very long time. So then how is this device different from um, digital systems like those from NVIDIA? Mm -hmm. So unlike those top tier digital processors, uh, those GPUs from NVIDIA or AMD, uh, the Peking University team's device actually relies on a physical phenomenon uh, called conductance, uh, which is essentially the uh, how easily current can flow through the device, through the memory arrays that make up the device. Um, and so instead of using those binary digits, those ones and zeros, it uses that physical phenomenon to perform calculations. Um, so the analog device they found actually already outperformed those top tier uh, graphics processing units from NVIDIA and AMD. And actually through further improvements, through things like circuitry improvements and such, they found that it could potentially have a 100 times better energy efficiency for the same precision and potentially a thousand times better throughput, which is uh, the rate of data transfer or processing in a given time uh, for the same precision. Mm. So it's all about energy efficiency, would you say is the most promising aspect of, the, of uh, analog computing? Definitely, yeah, because one of the main challenges that digital computing is facing as applications become more advanced is that energy efficiency. It's also time consumption. Um, and so this could really help overcome some of those energy issues. And also just for better precision or for better accuracy or for better um, uh, processing speeds and everything, uh, the, the analog computing could really offer that for some of these more advanced calculations that are needed for you know, simulating weather systems for driving advanced AI and things like that. Yeah. Mm. So, in that sense, how can this breakthrough change the global digital landscape? I think we could definitely enable um, more interesting applications in the future. I think a lot of people have been talking about more human-like AI, uh, but running those things, training those um, AIs, it takes a lot of data, it takes a lot of calculations, a lot of processing, and as we kind of approach the physical limits of digital computing, because there are some physical limits to how much we can scale digital computing, we really need something that can go beyond that. And analog. Uh, computing offers that promise, but it's been kind of bottlenecked for a very long time. So breakthroughs like these show that it has potential to actually uh, become a, a usable technology for some of these advanced applications in the future. Right. Sounds really promising, Victoria. Thank you so much. Thank you. To read more about this, you can visit scmp.com.